Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Greensboro Downtown Yoga. I'm Summer, and I'm thrilled to bring you a counter flow yoga class today that's all going to be about being bold and creative in our movement. If this is your first experience with counter flow yoga, just know it's a dynamic, standing vinyasa inspired practice that's going to take you through opportunities to work your posture, your balance, and every movement pattern that is out there, which might not mean anything to you if you're not in the, the movement world space, but that's okay. Just know we're going to functionally move your body in all ways. If you are brand new to the channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified anytime we add new content or go live. We are going to get started today standing at the front of your mat. Shut your eyes and place your feet hip distance apart. Notice where your body is in space right now. What do your feet feel like on the floor? What are your knees doing? Are they locked back and hyperextended? Do you have this great integration with pushing your feet into the floor and lifting up? How about your tummy muscles? How can they support us? Our abs, or our weak, our lower back. What's your natural, normal breath feel like? How can we allow our breath to work in three dimensions? So from the front, the side, and the back of our body. Such an interesting feel until we really learn how. Notice your shoulders. They lift it up towards your ears or can you pull them back and down your spine? As we work on all these elements of beautiful tall posture. Feel as if your feet press into the ground with all ten toes. And if someone were to pull a string on the top of your head, you lift up. So you're going down and up at the same time. As you tuned in with your body, start to sway forward and back. Allow the toes that chance to push into the floor, the body to just respond. It's going to make you feel like you fall off balance a little bit, and that's the joy in the swing. Go side to side. Today, as we allow our body to be creative, we let our mind be bold. Know that everything you do won't necessarily look like everything I do. Because you and I have two very different bodies. And that is what being creative in movement is about. Stay centered. Keep your eyes shut. Lift your right heel off the floor. And lower. Lift your left. Now shift, lift your heel, lift one at a time. You might want to open your eyes for a moment. Notice how as I lift, I get this up and down. So you're kind of going up and lower. You can do this with your eyes shut. It will challenge that balance just a little bit more. As you do this, make fists with your hands and then open them up. Find that space. Make a fist and open. And you can kind of just move this. And start to feel that rotation into your wrist, into your hands. I was a dancer. And growing up, I loved jazz. 
And so I started watching the Fossey Burden um, show on Hulu the other day, and it really inspired me. I was like, we need to just do like this. Right? That's not what we're doing. But you might want to think of it like that. <sighs> Let's keep both feet flat on the floor. Lift all 10 toes off the ground, then lower them back. Feel this like suction cup up with your toes. So you lift the arch of your foot. Do that one more time. Lift all 10 toes. Press down, pull, and use that to lift yourself an inch taller. Big inhale, just lift your arms high to the sky. Now circle your wrists as you come down. Allow your eyes to look to your opposite, to one shoulder. Lift up and now look to the other. Big deep inhale. Lift onto your toes. As you exhale, only lower your right heel. Lift up high. Now only lower your left heel. So one more time, each leg. Feel that space in your feet starting to open. The movement in your wrist, allowing the hands, the fingers to move in ways that we may not be used to. Big deep inhale, feet on the ground. Stretch over to one side. Feel this really great link out of your side body. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale. Notice how I get this little bend in my knee. That's what feels really great to me as I do this. But remember, it's about you being creative. If you don't want to bend in the knee, don't. Lift your hands high to the sky. Exhale as they come together behind you. Press your knuckles down to the floor as you push your hips forward. And you feel this lovely stretch across the front of your chest. Big deep inhale, lift your arms high. Exhale as your hands come to your thighs. Look into your belly. Exhale, look up to the sky. Ah, so you're getting this lovely movement into your spine for this cat cow. One more time. Look into the belly. Birch, look to the sky. Roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. As you do, lift your hands up to the sky. Heels lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch over to one side. Ah. Inhale. Lift. Now let's keep that heel off the floor so you get that great movement into your ankle joint. Inhale, lift up high. Both toe heels off the ground. Hands interlace behind our back. Exhale, this bold feeling of expansion across our chest. We are so hunched over in our daily life. But this press forward of our hips, expansion of our chest is so what we need. Big deep inhale. Hands come to thighs, cat cow. One more time, roll in, press up. Focus in your mind's eye. What does it mean to be fully? Roll up, let's explore it right now. Lift up high, reach over to the side, be bold and creative as you lift high. This last time of doing this little bit of flow, reach up, hands come together, hips press forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands come to the thighs. Look in. Help your breath guide your movement to be more articulated. To be more refined. Ah. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Heels on the floor. Inhale, lift your arms high. Exhale, sit low into a chair. And ah. So now we are starting to get dynamic movement. Yes? We sit our weight down. 
our chest is lifted. As we find this first bit of flow, with our arms, with our legs, we have to focus on how our chest stays lifted. This one, stay low. Lift your right heel and arms forward. Lift your left heel, arms forward. Lift and lower. Now pull those abdominal muscles in so your back is long and neutral. One more each way. Your feet are getting warm. Sit low into the chair. Big deep inhale as you do your right leg lifts and lower. Left leg. First time of some really single leg balance work. There's lots of it today. So use this opportunity to be grounded but bold. Meaning if you start to fall, good. That means you are challenging yourself to go for it. Stay low. Lift both heels off the floor. Push your shoulder blades together and back. Lower both heels. Lift up, right leg to the sky. Ha! <sighs> Exhale as you shift that weight out. Inhale, rise. Shift the weight forwards. The leg scoops. Rise out to the side. How are you articulating those feet on the floor? So you've got that suction cup out to the side and rise in front. You might feel the muscles of your feet working a little. And that's great. And rise. One more. Last time each way here. Out to the side. And lift. In front. And rise. Hold. Hold. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's move right here from the back. Think of it as a flamingo. go. Grounded down the hated flamingos. Oh my goodness. So it was a long standing family. Arms reach high to the sky. Exhale. Hands pull in. Shoulder blades squeeze together as you lean forward. Arms reach out to the side. Bend your standing leg just a little bit. Rise all the way up. Remember that move. Exhale, sit low in the chair. Lift both heels and lower. Use your breath because I promise you, it's these moments where you squeeze those shoulder blades back and your breath that connects to the move that we truly find freedom and creativity. Hold this one. Shoulder blades are back. Arms reach. Lower your heels. Lift your left leg up. Now reach it out to the side. Rise up. Scoop forward. So if you notice, and I didn't say it on the other leg, the standing leg bends as you shift forward and reach. And you're finding this long line from head to toe. My hips push back, yes? Do you notice that each time? Hips back. And rise, hips back, and lift. If you are in the virtual movement space and you understand it, I'm doing what's called a hinge, which means my hip joint right here is pushing back. Your toes are connected into the ground. Rise up, shift. Lift one more time each side or each way. Shift forward. Hold the lift. Now shut your eyes this time. Hands to heart center. See if your flamingo starts to teeter. Open your eyes. Lift your arms up. Now pull them down the wall. Just like you're sliding your shoulders shoulder blades together, right here, as you lean forward and reach your arms to the side. 
Why did I just readjust? Because I noticed my foot was turning out. You want your foot to be square. Bend your standing leg. I do have a pin with three cadaver ligaments in this ankle, so you'll notice it does some funky things. I've learned how to deal with it. Come back up to standing. Sit low into your chair. Big reach high to the sky. Hands come together behind your back. Push your hips forward. Now send your hips a little bit more forward. As you do that, you really feel the expansion across your chest, but not pressure into your lower back. Remember this feel. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, step out wide. Lift your arms high to the sky and sit up. Lift. Ah, we lift and come down. We get this great big expansion of our arms. Feel the lift. Now make knuckle or fist with your hands and then open them up as you come up. So it's like you're taking something and throwing big sparkles or glitter everywhere. Ah, one more. Ah, let's stay low. Hands come wide. Hands then come to your thigh. You look over your back shoulder. Come to center. Look over your other shoulder. So it's this beautiful rotation through your back. You want to think about push into the hand that's on the leg. So you feel lift out your spine. Come back to center. Rotate. Ah, push into that hand. So getting this rotation is going to become important. Lift up high, big deep inhale. Exhale, sit low so your elbows reach to your thighs. Inhale, look over your shoulder. Let's add that movement with your hands. So now there's lots of little finite things going on, yes? And having you look over your shoulders, push your hands. So it's not just the legs. We integrate. Ha! Ah. Ah. One more. Ha! Ah. Sit low. Arms reach. Hands come together. You're going to push the palms in towards each other. Rotate your fingers so they go forward. You're going to lift up a little higher and then exhale. Push your hands out. Rotate so your right hand is on top, and then pull back in. We come up, our hands point together. Sit low, push. Left hand on top. Pull in, rotate. I call these the little magician hands. And honestly, it was because when I first thought of it, I was watching a magician's television show, and it's all about like hand choreography. If you've never watched it, it's pretty good. If you're a geeky type person, which I am, I don't know. Anyway, you really want to think about how you're moving your wrist. So one more time, each side. Rotate, pull it. You're giving that pressure into your hands as you do it. Now sit low, reach your arms high to the sky, and then you're gonna make this little shift to the front and to the back. And you really want to find fluid movement where the sides of your body are helping shift you. We're going to call this the wave. You push both feet to the ground as we get this movement one more each way. Big, deep inhale, rise up, inhale. Moon flower, elbows, two thighs. Lift up, lift head, hands, head, ha. New move coming. Big, high, reach down, sunflower. You swing over and reach, ha. Push your feet down to the mat as you lift up through your legs, integrate them so you are connected. One more. Now arms reach to center. 
push forward, rotate, come in, sit low, rotate, pull in, wave to the front, ah, to the back, to the front, ah, one more each way, to the front, now come to center, big deep inhale, to the front of the room, warrior two, first time in warrior two today, let's push out on this front leg, push down with all five toes of your back foot, feel energy out your fingers, remember, I don't care how low you're going in this, I care about energy out the fingers, and out the top of your head. So you're feeling this reach. Come to center, to the back of the room. Hold it, feel the leap. Center, to the back, or to the front, excuse me. Inhale, now dynamically move. Ha, inhale. Beautiful flowing movements. Push your knee out. So in this dynamic movement, I really love to do this because it's so much like life, right? In life, we're dynamically moving, and we have to figure out where our hands and feet and knees and all that go. Let's stay to the front. Rotate your back foot. Lift your arms high to the sky. Now push down. Hips come forward so you get this great stretch in your front leg. Pull your arms in by your side. Push forward, inhale. So it's like you're pushing something away from you. And then pull a rope and pull in. So your elbows squeeze in. Notice I bend my knee and then straighten. Ha. Push and pull. Find the reach. Now maybe you can add this like flow of your body. Again, how can you be creative and bold? Allow yourself to explore the opportunity to be different. Then stay forward on this one. Arms lift to the sky. Now hands come to heart center. Push forward into your front leg. Use the strength of this leg to lift up and arms come out to the side. Ah, I told you to remember this from earlier, right? Let's bend our standing leg. Lift all the way up, foot to inner thigh for our cardio. Exhale, reach your foot out to the side. Oh my goodness, there it came back. Big reach out. Come to the front. We're going to add something to it. Inhale. Now you're going to cross behind you where you get this lovely rotation. Inhale. Let's do that just one more time. Ha. Look to your hands. Why? So we can get movement in our neck. Ha. Rise all the way up. Exhale. Step back. Find your beautiful lifted crescent. Open up to warrior two. Crescent open. Inhale. Come to center. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, sweep the hands. Goddess. Oh, excuse me. What is goddess? But it's also a moon flower. With energy. One more. Stay hot. Now, sunflower, sweep. Let go of tension. If you find that you just want to place your body in a spot, this is your chance to let go. Stay high, hands sink down. Press your hands forward. You get energy out, yes? Rotate your hands, pull in. Use this focus of how your wrist moves. That's why we're doing it. Come and shift to the front, wave. Wave to the back. One more, each way, wave. And wave, big rise up. Warrior two to the front. Inhale. Warrior two to the back. Lift and shine your chest, guys. 
We're going to stay to the back. Hold as you reach your arms away. Rotate your foot to come to our crescent. Hip pushes forward. You are this lovely ball of bold energy. Pull your hands into your chest. Press forward. Ah, and then be a wave that pulls back. Notice your body moving in space. Again, it probably won't look like my body. And that's the beauty of being a human, right? That we all have abilities that are a little different. As long as you're safe, meaning your joints are lining up properly and we're not putting extra pressure, I am so happy with whatever version you do. Stay forward, hold it, stay forward. Hands come in. Push into your front leg as you lift your back leg. Bend your standing leg. Big deep inhale, rise up. Shift your weight out to the side. Lift up. Scoop your arms forward. Ah, come on. Now let's cross. Find the spiral. Find the way that you can look back to that foot. And then push up one more time. Woo! See that? How do we suction cup our feet to the ground a little more? Push. Come all the way up. Slide your foot back. Rise to the sky. Open up, warrior two. Open those knees. Push out with your own thighs. Come to center. Hands come down to your thighs. Look over your shoulder. Come in. Over your other shoulder. So if you come and notice, we've been building. It's like a little sequence that we've been building on top of. And there's one more little part to it that we're going to add in. So again, kind of like life. We don't just kind of do one thing and ditch it, right? Let's stay center and shift. We kind of constantly add. All right. Big deep inhale. Come up. Exhale for your moves. Power hands come together. Lift. Inhale. Inhale. One more. Now sunflower sweep. As you get more familiar, it's a chance to be flowy, to be creative. Reach up high, sit low. Push your hands. Ah, oh, feel that lovely movement in the wrist, right? In your forearms. Pull. Reach to the front for your weight. It's going to come right after this that we're adding. Wave. Now take your right arm. As you come forward, it's going to swing around your head. And then you come up. So as you swing and lift and throw that arm to the sky. It's like you're lassoing. And I can't imagine. I mean, maybe you've done a lasso. I haven't. <laughs> but from what I've seen, this is that circling notion. <sighs> We get that big whoop, lift. We're moving in so many planes of motion right now. One more. Last one to the back. Now lift your arms high to center. You're going to lift your right heel off the floor. You rotate. Actually, before we do that, I want to do something else. You come back. You're going to twist, twist. So like. You're just twisting and looking over your shoulder. This is your option. So for what we're about to go into, if you just don't feel stable or grounded, or just don't like it, I want you to come back to this right here. Okay? That's our promise. Stay center. Big deep in. Lift your right heel. You rotate around, and you're going to swing over this leg. 
and then come really big, and then swing to the back, really big, and lift. Great energy out your hands. I really think that the hands are one of the most neglected areas of movement, and that we just don't do enough to activate them. So I want you to think about them consciously. Like they're a fist, and then they throw that in the <sighs> One more each side. Now you are protecting your back. <sighs> Stay high. Sit back low. <sighs> or you're two to the front. Rotate your back heel. <sighs> Hands come in. Let's shift forward. Push into our standing leg. Press your foot down as your hip lifts up. Did you notice how I kind of swear a little bit more? That's where I want you. Big lift high to the sky. Foot to pain, a flamingo. Out to the side, reach. Come up, inhale. Scoot to the front. Rotate. High, hold. Bring your elbows into your knees. So you get this little rounded position. Now bend your standing leg as you push your foot and hand away from each other. It's like you're pushing two walls and your tummy muscles have to assist. Step your back foot. Lift your arms high to the sky. Now step your back foot in to meet your front. Lift your heels high off the ground. And we're going to lower ourselves all the way down to the floor. Now, if that's not comfy on your knees, just stay a little higher. I always love to share the story of a woman who, the first time she did this class with me, was like, I can't do small ball summer. I was like, that's fine. It's strength and stretch in the hamstrings, quads, glutes. And then about probably two or three months into doing it, she came up to me and she said, Summer, I did it today. And that's what it's about. So we're here. Sit your weight back. Feet come forward. Lift your chest. So you've got these two little bony protrusions on your butt. They're called your sit bones. I want you to sit behind them and lift your legs. Pull your abdominals. So you've got this tall lift up the top of your head. You're going to push your arms and legs away and then pull and gather them in. Push and pull. So feel as if you are pushing and then gather back in. Come one more time. Reach. Gather. Now you're going to roll onto your back. So right before you hit the neck, you stop. So tuck your chin, little rolling like a ball. Two more. This one is normal, and then on this next one, we're gonna use the momentum to come back into your small wall. Lengthen your butt, or excuse me, sit back in the chair. Lift up tall as your right leg comes up. Step your right foot back, hands forward. Let's push away, and then pull it. Ah, it's this lovely movement. Push and pull. One more time. Push and pull. Now I want you to push your hands forward. Hands come down beside your foot. Press your inside hands and your right hand onto the ground. Take your left arm and open up to the side of the room. How do we do this? We think push through our back here. Push. So I actually like this moment to take my hand and push onto my thigh so that I get this rotation truly positively into the center of my back before I open up. That's going to give me more openness in my hip. Reach the arm. Lift up high. Open up, warrior two. Come up to center. And we're going to do all that on the other side. Sit low. Rise up. All right, here is our moon flower. Down and throw. Sparkle with your bowl. 
Hops and sunflower sweep them. Rise. And use your breath. I promise you, it will help you. Last one. Now hands come center. Push forward. Ah, oh, shoulders are down the way. Rotate your hands. Pull in. Push away. You know it, right? So how can you explore a little bit more? Let's push to the back of the room. Wave. Wave to the front. Your obliques, those side body muscles, are what you're using right now. One more. Then let's take our left hand, swirl around, and extend to the sky. So notice how I kind of go down to go up. Down to go up. That's what we really want to think about. Not going up to go down. It will change and make your movement start from your feet. One more. Ha! Now come center. Big lift. Let's lift our left heel. Sway. Remember that rotation that we did. If you want to go back to the swing, that is beautiful. Ha! Use your breath. Let go of tension. Let go of what you hold on to and be free. Last one. Open up. Sit into warrior two to the back. Rotate your foot. Come to crescent. Sink down. Hands come to heart center. Shift forward into your front leg. Push off and find the lift of your back leg. Lower down into your front knee. Beautiful. Rise up. Find, find the lift of your And shift up. Lift up high. In front of you. Sweep. And cross. Come all the way up. Lift up. Pull your knee and your elbow in towards each other. Press away from you. So in those two walls and you push. Lower your foot. Lift your arms. Ah, hands come down. Let's push forward and pull it. Oh, I just, did you notice how I just fell right there? I was completely letting go of my foot. I noticed that it had just kind of become floppy. And, and now let's stay forward. Lift your arms. Back foot comes in. Sit low into your chair. Your heels lift, just like we did at the very beginning. Let's come all the way down. Find a place to sit on your hips. Lift your legs. Big, deep in Maybe you shut your eyes in this moment and really internalize what your body is feeling, what this experience is like for you. So one more. Stay in boot. Now tuck your chin, little rounding in of the spine. Roll back and come up. So Bowling like a ball, this is kind of like a little massage into our back, yeah? But it's also really about the control of our abdominals, our core. So our abdominals, our obliques, our hips, back. One. And then on the second one, come all the way through. Lower your heels, sit into our chair. Step your left foot back. Lift your arms high to the sky. Sink low as your hands come beside your foot. Push your left heel back as you start to rotate. So think about pushing into the ground with your right foot and pressing back with the heel of your left. As you start to spiral, you get the rotation through the middle of your back. You open your chest. That's what it's about. 
hand comes down. We reach our arms up. Open warrior two. Come up to center. Ha, ah, that was beautiful, guys. Let's shift to the front leg and to the back leg. You get this great stretch into your inner thigh, yes? By pushing all 10 toes onto the floor. You might notice that my left foot, I kind of come onto the edge of it. That's because of where that thing is. If you notice my right foot, all 10, all five toes stay, that's how I want you to it. I kind of had to adjust because of that thing. Now you can stay with this move right here, or I want you to start walking your hands down to the mat. And you're gonna shift your weight side to side in this skandasana tight move. Come center, find this neutral back. Fold over your legs. Press your hands down to the mat while you really, really, really focus on the knee behind your legs without blocking your knees out. Your hips lift higher to the sky. Head is relaxed. You notice I don't do a lot of forward bending, and that's purposeful because we spend so much of our life forward folded that we want to counter that with all that chest opening and swinging and all that that we've done. But every now and then, it just feels nice on our hamstrings. Let's bend our knees, roll ourselves back up to the top. Take a big, deep inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart center. You're gonna step to the front edge of your mat, facing forward, okay? Big, deep inhale. Exhale, sit low in the chair. Take your leg out to the side. You're gonna use that just as this kind of guiding moment. Now lift up high. Hold. Take and tip to the side. So you find this long line from your fingers on each hand. Press down the way. Bend your standing leg and then push up into that foot. I just love that feel of going down to coming up. It really stabilizes you into the hip. Come up. Take your foot out to the side. You're going to shift and shift. This is going to become a little bit more dynamic as we build it right now. Stay to your back leg. Step your foot in. Rise up. Reach your leg out to the side right there. Find that knee. Then stand up. Push your foot into the floor. Remember today is all about being bold and creative. So does your star look like mine? Probably not. But can you be this beautiful floating star? Bend your standing leg. Push to come up. Press your hand a little further down to the floor. Lift back up all the way. Flamingo, pelican, however you want to Shift out to the sides now. Take your hands to the floor. Let's shift side. Next side. Now, if in this next little flow, coming down into this low position doesn't feel great on your hips, guess what? Just like everything, you don't have to do it. Here's where I want you to stay. You'll stay up in this place that we've been doing. Or you're going to come up. As long as you're safe, as long as all your joints are lining up in the proper places and we are actively engaging our body, your version is you. 
let's come to center, forward fold. Ah, just for that moment, press down. Bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Step your back foot in to meet your front. Big, deep inhale. Ah, go straight into your falling star. Bend your stationary leg. Lift up high. Inhale. Now you're going to shift out to that state, opposite leg. Whoop. Okay. Push back into standing foot. Let's do it again. Press out. One more time. Lift. Now with that kind of swaying motion, you control or you swing down into Skandasana. Hand on the floor. My hips are feeling a little tighter today than they oftentimes do. Who knows why? Life. Right, so I'm actually going to stay a little higher because otherwise I'm finding that my chest is wanting to collapse, and that's not the point of the move. So being up here, I'm going to get that a little bit better. Big deep inhale, push into your front leg. Now let's lift up high. Take your foot out to the side with control. Shift side and side. Let's shift into our front leg or back leg, excuse me, opposite leg. Arms lift up and tip over. Open your chest, expand. Feel weight. Breathe. Big deep inhale. Exhale, you let that leg lower as you shift. Now push in. Reach out. Ha. Start to find your depth, your place in this move. Rise up. Hold this next one down. So you find this place where your knee, your elbow is pressing out on the leg. And we start to open up. This side I actually have today. Always so interesting how one side is compared to the other, right? Hands to floor, center fold. We're going to do that one last time, just a little bit different. Allow this energy out the top of your head. Push your tailbone up and back so you get this really great hamstring stretch. Bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your arms high. Step into your front leg. Tip and reach over. Boldness. Creativity. What does that mean to you? Does it mean that you have to be coloring and painting? No. It just means that we have to be creative in how we explore the Come back up. Inhale. Let's shift to the back. Ah, go straight down and open up. Come to center. Fold over just for a breath. Bend your knees. Roll up. Push to the back foot. Lift your arms. And shift over. This is your last time. Make it this beautiful place of expansion through your chest. Bend your knee, shift to the side, open up. Ah. Come to center. Fold over our legs. Bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. So we Shift to the front of the room. Bring your feet under your hips. Press down. For a moment, stand just like we did in the beginning of class. Notice how your feet, your knees, your hips, 
your abs back, obliques, breath, shoulders, and head. Ooh, so many things to think about when you look at good posture. How are they now? Let's push our feet down to the ground. Let's lift energy up through the top of our head. Big deep inhales, we lift our arms high in the sky. Exhale, sit low in the chair. Enough chairs are ready to do the last one. Lift your heels. Lower yourself all the way down to small ball. Hold your small ball. Perfect chance to grab some water right there, right? Now, take your hands onto the floor. Step your knees back so they are under your hips. Press your palms. That's actually not what I want you to press. I want you to press what's called palm arch. So it's this bottom part of your hand, and all five fingers are doing this. See that? See how if I'm flat, it looks like that. But if I'm in a palm arch, it's like this. It's such a small, intricate movement, I know. But it's like you have a basketball in your hand and you're trying to palm it. I mean, five foot tall me, it's never been a basketball. But, it's <laughs> but that's the idea. All right, let's push down. Why? Because that's going to activate your upper back. Then we're going to look up to the sky for a beautiful cow. Exhale, look into your belly with this lovely cat. Do that a few more times, but really be intentional in your movement. You push down with the hands to get this lovely arch into your mid back. Take your hands 
and find that same exact palm arch. I actually love doing this with a block in between your hands because you can really feel if you press it. So let's all actually imagine if we had the block. Push in, imagine you have it. And then you slide that block back an inch. And you should find that every muscle in your body totally just activated. Versus having your hands clasped and rounding into your shoulders. You are lifted up out of the shoulders, press back with your heels, and pull back with those elbows. Lower your legs down. Let's lift our chest for a little. Look to the sky. Take your hands under your shoulders. Lift up if it feels good on your back. If it doesn't, stay where you are. We're going to lift our thighs off the floor for that up dog. We only have one up dog and one downward dog. In this downward dog, feel that palm arch. Press down and up. So what do I mean by that? Down with my hands in the palm arch lifts my tailbone a little higher. Bend your knees, place them onto the ground wide and sit back to a child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the floor. In this last final few moments of class today, as we look for ways to calm our mind, to settle into our body, let your head rock from side to side. Massage your forehead in a way that is telling your body thank you. Telling your mind. It's like that little mind massage. And stay centered. Push your hips back towards your heels even more. As your hips press back to your heels, your arms reach to the front of the mat. You feel this lovely opposition. Your hands going forward, your hips going back so that your back really stretches. Take your hands to the right side of the mat. Stack your left hand on top. Continue to sit back. Press your left hand into the skin of that right hand and pull the skin back. Switch to the other side. Press down, feel that great length. Bring yourself back to center. Take one more deep inhale right here. Exhale as we bring ourselves up to a seated position. With your eyes shut, find a place that's comfortable for you to sit. 
And if your eyes shut, does it feel comfortable for you? Let them be open. They say, there's a quote that says, creativity takes courage. Courage takes vulnerability. Vulnerability to me is allowing yourself to be bold when others tell you you can't or shouldn't. And Robert Frost says that freedom lies in being bold. So if we really think about that, that kind of inner line web of different people saying different things, if we can allow ourselves to be creative, we generate courage, we allow vulnerability, it makes us be bold, and creates freedom. Take that with you as you move through the rest of your day into whatever lies ahead. Until next time, I'm Summer. Thank you.